The main objective of our school is to support those disadvantaged students or the students who could not get enrolled in the government school and also to promote and preserve our art and culture. I think it's very important for the country to not only preserve but also to keep this tradition alive. We have the uh, painting for the first three years is basically targeted for the, we call it Shinsen. Shinsen means the painting of the houses and decorations and altar and all those things comes under that Shinsen, even the painting of marks and all. And then after they do that, then from the fourth year to sixth year, they will be specializing totally on the god and goddesses, the images and all. So in the temple, the big tankers and all, they are able to do that from the, after they complete third year. And then in the embroidery is the, uh, the hand you know, swing and all. So they have this four years course in which they will be able to do all kind of embroidery work, starting from the making a small design to the image of God and goddesses will be taught in that four years. And then weaving, we have the weaving from plain weaving to the integrate design. Let's go up to four years. And then we have uh, carving, and carving is also like four years. So carving first, they learn the basic, and then they advance, and in which they cover all the carving, integrate design, marks making, and even the carving of the altars and all is included in that four years. <laughs> Ancient people have embroidered and this is very precious for our Bhutan because it's, it's our great culture which we can't stop in, in future also because this is our traditional arts and crafts, that's why. I'm from broken family and uh, my parents can't support me. Uh, I like embroidery because to support my parents in future to, uh, to be independent. Uh, my dream was to be the uh, great embroiderer in Sudan and to become a very great uh, designer of our country. <laughs> so Today we have around 113 students, so we have uh, our capacity would be 80 boys and 50 girls. And we have uh, uh, six main teachers who are teaching in the uh, four different specialization skills and uh, in total we have 15 staff. So all the students they stay here in the school, it's a boarding provided, boarding fee. So they don't, uh, the school don't uh, charge any fee to the student. Our entry age is uh, 14 years to 18 years. But when we look at them, we know that they are not that age but then there's no like record or something which can prove that they really are you know since we have students who uh, have uh, no background on any education like coming directly from village so we try to also teach uh, basic english maths and zonka that zonka is our national language so try to teach them and now we are also trying to include uh, computer classes for the student so that uh, Later on, when they go from here, after they graduate, they are in a better position to communicate, to interact with even with outsiders and all. So we're trying to do that, yeah.
just now I'm in Kevin. Uh, in I'm coming in the fifth year. So after that, I I'm thinking to be a best carver in Bhutan. Carver uh, is done in, in ancient time, or uh, father and in fathers and fathers time. So we don't want to um, leave it. So we uh, we're trying to do more and more. After we finish from here, so we will try to repair that old. Uh, monsters and songs. The globalization, I would say, has, uh, in fact, in terms of art and craft, has, uh, I don't see much uh, negative impact on that. I think there's a lot of people expressing interest, uh, especially uh, when we have like Expo or, you know, the art and craft exhibition outside because in 2008 we are fortunate to take part in that Smithsonian festival no? in Washington. There were about like more than 100 people, Bhutanese, participating in that Flock Life festival. So there we can see that a lot of people are very curious, they are interested about our art and craft and also like uh, how we use that art and craft. You know? Is, is it just for the decoration purpose or is it also being involved, you know? So they are very impressed that uh, most of the art that we produce is for the, you know, is used in the day-to-day -day life. Now with going to Bhutan, exposing to outside world and people taking part in that, has made them realize that it is also very important for them to also keep up the tradition. And now most of the youngsters are also trying to understand that. Uh, I think since Bhutan being a very small country and it's located in between, you know, the giant two countries, I would say, India and China. So the only tools that we have is to keep our identity, you know. Oh